Hi everyone, Carlos is Diner here, and today I'm going to do a Lego mock review on the Great Heap from the Star Wars Droids animated series. Now, the Great Heap was an Abominor, which was a self-building droid race that conquered galaxies. And while the Great Heap was big, the biggest Abominor could grow to the size of a planet. And the Great Heap was not the size of a planet, but it was still pretty big. Now, specifically why I decided to do a Lego mock on the Great on the Great Heap was because I looked all over the internet to see if anyone had done a Lego Great Heap mock, and nobody had done one. So I decided to take matters into my own hands and build one myself. So without further ado, let's get on to this build. For the minifigure selection, it's on characters that appeared in the episode. Of course, we have 3PO and R2, and specifically, I'm using the late 2000s era 3PO and R2 minifigures because they're like the, literally the closest Lego variations of the characters that look like the ones that appeared in the Star Wars droid series. Especially with 3PO because he does not have like a, co the colored wires like uh, his, his movie variant has. Nothing too special on R2. It's just the late 2000s R2. And uh, the, that red astromech is supposed to be KT-10, who looks nothing like the KT-10 that appears in, in the Great Heap episode. For some odd reason, the episode refers to, to the astromechs, the various astromechs in the episode as, R, as R2 units. Despite the fact that all, that literally, literally almost none of the astromechs that appeared look anything like R2 units. They're all various astromechs of various size, shapes, designs, and KT-10 certainly was not accurate. But because I don't think I could do a better custom than an astromech that LEGO gave us. In fact, this is not even a KT-10 minifigure. This is like a classic red astromech minifigure that appeared in a few sets back in the day. And I thought it looked at, it looked very close to KT-10, so I decided to use it as her. But there's not really a very large minifigure selection, not one that I can think of. Probably could do a few on the characters that appeared in the episode, like uh, Admiral uh, Screed, I think was his name. Uh, I, I forgot their I forgot their names. Probably probably customs on them, but uh, forgot their names. Whew, but, yeah. The, the, this Great Heap Lego mock is not very large or or unique in any way, so very only three minifigures included. But that's it with minifigure selections. Now, on to the build. Okay. I think I am the first guy on YouTube or the internet to literally take the time to build the Great Heap in Lego form. Not really a whole lot to talk about this Lego build, because it's like one giant block on wheels. But I'm gonna break it down as much as I can. So the Great Heap's face is made up of Clayface's eyes from the Lego Batman movie. A tan nose. Well, it wasn't tan, like, in, in the episode. But, but I decided to make it use a tan piece because I thought it made it stand out instead of just simple gray, which would make it look too boring. The big chin slash jaw is from the Razor Crest set, and I thought it looked pretty accurate to his big chin slash jaw that he had in the episode. But yeah, it's connected to a, a, a hinge piece, and it doesn't really open up like that. It does not. I'm just have it right there. And for those who watched the Great Heap episode, no, it does not have the ability to insert a astromech like it does in the episode, which is a shame because honestly, uh, that would be, that would be a pretty neat function, like an astromech socket to build. But yeah, an idea for Lego makers. If you have an idea to make a Great Heap set, or uh, no, sorry, Great Heap mock, put an astromech socket in. You know. A small idea, but I'm not going to do that because I was more focused on getting the image of the Great Heap in Lego form, and that was it. For its head or helmet, looks more like a helmet, but I'm just going to call it his the top of his head. He has a uh, two uh, lamps 
on hinges. Uh, his crane thingy, which I did have, a, have an idea to like turn this uh, dome into a cr into his crane, you know, like with a Lego rope, so that he can like hang three PO from. But uh, it didn't look too right, especially with how close three PO got to the face when he was hanging. So I decided not to do that. <sighs> That's getting a bit noisy with that board. Sorry about that, folks. But yeah, the, the I think the most complex part of building the Great Heap in Lego form was getting the head, or the top of his head right. Because it's so roundish shaped. Doesn't look too good, but I think I, I think I did a pretty okay job on it. His back involves a lot of pipes and, and towers, which he does have in the episode. His sides are of mismatched Lego bricks because since he's an abominor, he's made of different droid parts. So he's going to be mismatched in areas. These four orange parts, these four orange pieces on his sides, are are his furnace. Abominors are apparently powered by furnaces, which is how he was defeated in the episode. It started to rain on the planet that he was on, and he was deactivated from his furnace going out. His arms, which don't really have a whole lot of mobility, but definitely get the idea out. His arms are made from two Lego Marvel mech pieces. Or, um, four, I should say, because he has two arms. He has, uh, three claws. Fingers, I should say. Claws or fingers. Not really a whole lot of mobility, but still get the idea out, is what I was going for. Now, an interesting thing, um, the Great Heap moves by threads, but I don't have all, any Lego threads, and I don't think Lego's a big fan of threads either. So I just used Lego tires slash wheels for him to move around. There's not really much to talk about the this Lego Great Heap build, but yeah, that is my Lego build on the Great Heap. And that is it for my Lego build on the Great Heap from Star Wars Droids. Not my best Lego build or mock, but definitely not my worst. I was, I was basically trying to get the Great Heap in Lego image was my whole idea slash goal for this build. But I also wanted it to be, you know... Uh, at least playable slash accurate enough. And also, this will probably serve as inspiration for anyone who also wants to build the Great Heap in Lego form from Star Wars Droids. But anyway, that is it for this review. What are your thoughts on this build? Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in more videos. Bye for now, everyone!